This is Caesar 4.32.1, a suspicious cloud of dust. While these things were going on, it's a funny little expression there, guarantor, to do stuff. And now, the Amplitude of Absolutes begin. And you can see this is a huge sentence, so we're going to chop it up into multiple English sentences. So instead of saying a legion having been uh, lost, we're going to say a legion was lost, uh, was missing, as was usual. Frumentatum, this is a supine, expressing purpose to forage. Nice. But they were down one legion because they were out getting food. Well, it's part of an army's job. And here we can make the cut right there. And then this quai, this refers back to legione. Alright. So instead of saying which legion, we're going to say this legion. This legion was called the seventh. And we can make another cut there, call it a sentence. Why not? Neque ula. And not by any. Okay. Here comes another habit of absolute. No suspicion having been brought to mind. That's a perfect passive participle there. Habit of absolute, again, lots of habit of absolutes here. Not any suspicion of war having been brought to mind at this time. And this is a little expression, at this time. Yeah. And so instead of making it, you know, a chunk will make it a sentence. Now, you got to ask yourself, is this since or is it with? You look to the right, and any ablatives in here? No. But you do see the imperfect subjunctive. So, we're going to say since. Since some of the men remained in the fields. So, this is a correlative. Pars always it usually goes with another pars. Some and others. Some of the men remained in the fields. Others would come and go back and forth to the camp. Correlatives there. Both of these are imperfect subjunctives. In the circumstantial clause. So that's a bit of a chunk there. And for this, kind of have to keep that as a subordinate clause. Since they were doing this, those who, once again, demonstrative followed by a relative pronoun, those who, very frequent. Those who errant were in statione, on duty, pro portis castrorum, before the gates of the camp, very straightforward there. Relative pronoun. Those guys, nuntiarunt. There's your verb. This is your subject. And what did they announce? They announced an indirect statement. Poverum videre. Okay. Here's your subject. Accusative. Oops. Accusative. And your verb, infinitive, because it's an indirect statement. They reported that a dust cloud was seen. A dust cloud bigger than custom brought, in other words, bigger than usual, in the direction, again, this is... Demonstrative followed by relative. That area in which area the legion was marching had made a journey. So when a legion is on the march, you expect pulverem, a dust cloud, but you don't expect a dust cloud that was as big as they saw. So must be other people out there. It's the Britons. We'll see what they. Here we go. Plu, perfect. Subjunctive here. 
So what they're saying is they saw a bigger dust cloud than the Legion had made on its journey. So that's the idea there, time before which. All righty. Big sentence, but again, we broke it down. We made separate sentences out of it with as little subordination as we could.